Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my March favorites video for you guys. I'm really excited to be doing this one today. I do have a shirt on by the way. I realize it looks like I don't even have a shirt on, but I do, I promise. Little Cami, my favorite cardigan ever. Um, so yeah, so I have a crap ton of products, so let's just get into it. Um, so the first thing I wanna talk about is this brush. <sighs> this is the It Cosmetics Buffing what are you called? Airbrush Buffing Foundation 110. And I love this brush. It is dirty because I used it this morning putting on the makeup I have on right now. But I actually really do enjoy this brush. I use it with my Lancome uh, foundation. I did a video on that um, foundation um, last week. Yeah, last week so um if you are interested in that foundation review you can go check that out on my video <laughs> but anyway so i used the brush and i actually ended up really loving the brush as well i um in that video i didn't talk much about this brush but um because i was so thrilled about that foundation i've actually got it home today and let me tell you i'm loving it so but i love that brush and um i'm trying to get the complete set if i have to buy them individually i will i don't care but i'm thinking about doing it and doing a complete review on the it cosmetic brushes from ulta and maybe doing a big review on those so the next things we have are some eyeshadow palettes um so at the beginning of the month i've really been loving using this it's the real her 2 um shadow palette um, do your squats. I'm, I, I'm all for that. Um, this came in my, <coughs> um, FabFitFun box and it's got some beautiful colors. I actually want to do a review on these colors, um, but I didn't really get around to it and I kind of feel like what's the point now, but I might do a makeup look using this palette. Um, starting in April I don't know we'll see but I did do a really pretty look with that so but I have really been loving those eyeshadows they are gorgeous um and again something that I've been using since I've bought it is the it's my Ray Ray palette and there's a lot of things I love about this palette so there's a lot of favorites in this one one this bronzer I absolutely love this color bronzer on me it just it's not so overbearing but um so yeah so this is like my go-to uh bronzer right now and then um i love the highlighters even though i didn't really wear them a lot on my face i did use these for my eyes um and then her eyeshadows i have used that eyeshadow palette so flipping much and i love it it is just gorgeous um, and I made a really cute look with this as well, but most of my looks kind of are starting to look the same. Um, so yeah, so I feel like both of these, I did the exact same eye look. Oh well, it is what it is. And then at the end of the month, um, I've been using the Soft Glam Anastasia Beverly Hills. That's what's on my eyes today. Um, I did, um, orange soda. Yeah, I took Orange Soda, Cena, and Bronze, that really goldish color, and I threw that all over my lid, and I love the way this eye look came out. It is gorgeous. And then I used to use the black for my eyeliner. So, so I have been loving this palette. The last two palettes she's had out, I didn't even purchase because I did not like the colors whatsoever in those. Um, I, so I don't know how quality was. I'm sure they were good quality. It just, for me, I felt like those really weren't colors I was going to use a lot. And I didn't want to use, like, waste a lot of money on, on those last couple palettes. You know what I mean? And I'll go ahead and show you. So this is like my, my all time favorite primer so far. And that's really, um, well, for the company, that's great for me to say because the um, Tarte 12 hour primer had been my all time go to, like I've repurchased it a thousand times primer. And I'm a person who I don't repurchase products unless I absolutely love them. I will probably definitely repurchase this because I love it. It's got kind of like a tint to it. It says it's for all skin tones, but I absolutely love this. It has just made my face just 
gorgeous with any foundation I've put on it. My face looks gorgeous in it. So that and the NARS primer are my two like go-to primers of the moment. Now for foundations, like I said, I have a buttload of foundations and a buttload of lip products. Not gonna lie, I'm trying to get them all out here really quick. Um, one thing I need to really find is a good mascara. Um, I have really have lacked with a good mascara, but um, for foundations, there's a load because a buttload because my beginning of the month. I have been in love with my MAC, um, oh, which one are you? Studio Fix. I absolutely love this. I will definitely repurchase this no matter what. I don't care if I still love another foundation. This is a go-to for me. I absolutely love this. Um, then I had purchased the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Foundation. I'm in love with this. I just I can't get over the way this looks on my face it is a little darker on me so I will take this and I will go around the bottom of my face especially just to kind of blend it with my neck so it doesn't kind of you know look weird but I actually really do love the Stila aqua glow serum foundation now I bought these two um, foundations closer to the end of the month of March so I've been going back and forth between them. I wore this one the other day and it is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. So I have worn this twice now and I love this foundation. I love this. Um, I did not think I was going to love it that much, but I am just, I'm in awe over it. It just looks like that in this little cushion. And it is just like, a, it's just got gorgeous coverage and it's, I don't, I mean, I'm just, I'm impressed. And I love that it's cruelty free, so. Now the last foundation, I'm pretty sure, yeah, is my Lancome. It is the Skin Feels Good. Um, it's their newer one that came out. Looks like this, and I've talked about the packaging. I love the packaging. It looks so sleek, mature. Um, I said that in a video. I said it looks mature, and because I, I was trying to think of sleek. But I just think it looks so, like, just, sleek and mature and just pretty like i love the simplicity of it i guess um same thing with the wet and wild i just wish they kind of would have left the little girl off of it it would have been really pretty and like i love the gold on the stila and of course mac is always just sleek looking so but i just i really love this packaging with the white the black lid and then this but more so i love this foundation um this is just an amazing foundation like I just I love this like I said I'm wearing it today and it's just my face just looks flawless okay um and I'm not you know and it just I don't know I just love it and I was like let me try putting this on in my big mirror in the bathroom and seeing how it looked and still it just looked flawless and I'm like okay I felt like maybe I was just over exaggerating in that video because my camera and then you know um the lighting was hitting it, but no, like this is natural lighting and it just looks gorgeous. And even in my bathroom, it was just going on so flawlessly. So I'm just, I'm in awe over these. Um, the next thing, which I went out of order, um, is the, uh, moisturizers I use. So the beginning to the middle of March, I've been using my Kors. It's the Kors Pomegranate Balancing Cream Gel Moisturizer. And I have been loving this moisturizer. So I have been using this one for the majority of January, February, March. Um, until I got the Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion in my FabFitFun box. And I have just been loving this. I've just been loving it. Like I'm in all with it. I love it. Um, I'm not wearing it today because I'm trying another moisturizer now. And um, I'm probably going to mention it in an April's Favorites. Just saying. I'm not going to talk about it right now because we might talk about it later in a video. But for right now, I've really been loving this. Um, and I'm kind of one of them people, like I said, I don't do repurchase, repurchases. But <clears throat> when I really love it, I will. Um, but I'm also the type of person, like, I'll buy something. But then if I get something new after that... I kind of forget about the thing I bought and then I go with the newer thing. I don't know why I'm just like that. I just 
is what I do. I love trusting, trying, testing new products all the time. So I switch a lot, but um, I've definitely been sticking with this one so far and um, I've really have been enjoying it and loving this. Um, the next thing and I'm gonna talk about is the um, L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. Um, I love this. I cannot put my makeup on without this. This is a staple for me. Um, sorry, there's a car going by and I got my window wide open and they can see me. Um, so this is a staple for me. I cannot, I cannot wear my makeup without this underneath it. So what I like to do is moisturizer, primer this and then foundation and i promise you i feel like it just absolutely makes my foundation take it to the next level i love it um so this is one of my staples i have to have it i will definitely be repurchasing this unless i find something else that i like just as well um but until then this is definitely a must have for me in my makeup routine um so I am not, ooh, I am not a concealer girl. I just, concealers don't work for me. I have not used concealers in forever. I have the NARS. <coughs> I have an, the other Tarte, um, though not the newest Shape Tape one, which I, I bought it and we're getting ready to talk about it. But um, I bought another Tarte one. My camera's overheating. Ugh. We'll go until it until it turns off but anyway so i have a few different concealers but my all-time favorite one so far is actually the tarte shape tape and i'm not a concealer type of girl like i am just in awe over this shape tape like i am thrilled shitless with this concealer i love it a lot and with that is my favorite powder and it's the laura mercier translucent face powder it's my go-to i only have the mini and it's lasted me for months but i am getting low i can tell so i will definitely be repurchasing this because i need this in my life as well i the only other powder i'll use is the drugstore one i'm trying to think what it's called the airspun that's the only other one i will use if i'm out of this and i have to if i don't have to it's definitely the laura mercier one just saying It's gonna overheat. I'm just gonna turn it off for a minute. The next thing is my blush. Um, because really the only, I already talked about the bronzer and the, it's my Ray Ray. Other than that, it's my NARS Laguna one. I didn't bring it out here, I forgot it, sorry. But that is another like key one in my makeup um, that I like to have on hand. It, I am hitting pan. I did hit pan on it and it's like, literally I'm starting to just scrape stuff now. So I will probably repurchase the Laguna. Um, cause I really did like it that much. Um, but my favorite blush is the Lancome in the Cedar Rose color. It looks like this and it's so, so pretty. I am wearing that one today and I absolutely love this blush. I have used this how long have I had you now? I've used this for a couple years. I think if you go back on my Instagram, you'll see I've had this for a while and I'd still, I still use the hell out of it. And let me tell you, I've not even hit pan yet. And I don't know how that's not happened because I use this every single day. I mean, there might be a couple times, yeah, I've not used it, but for the majority of my blushes, this is the color on my face. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it's lasted forever. Um, so we talked about bronzers and then for a highlighter, before I show you this one, I was using the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette for the majority of my highlight. And if it wasn't that one, it was the Moschino for Sephora, little bear compact one. It was that one. So I was going back and forth between those. And um, about the end of the month, I ended up purchasing the M. Ramsey Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. Sorry, that light. And I um, am just obsessed. I love it. Look at that glow. I love it. And I do have that on my cheeks, the inner corners of my eye, the uh, brow bone, and right above is where I put it. And it just, it's gorgeous. I love it. Um, I cannot see myself without this. So if it ever goes away for good, 
I'm gonna be up shit creek without a paddle. Just saying. So um, the next product is my mascara, and <sighs> I'm telling you guys, I've got to find some another mask. Not that I need to find another mascara because this works, but I need something to really fix my lashes. Like my lashes are awful. They are just like straight out pointy. They go down until I curl them. Like they're awful. I need something that to help keep them up. Um, so I've been actually looking into volumizing mascaras. But until then, I have been wearing the Wicked Lash Mascara by Merle Norman. Um, it's kind of another staple in my makeup routine. It's just a regular mascara. It's a dark black. Um, but it just, I mean, there's nothing like special about it. But I do love the applicator because it's like big and chunky. And I feel like it really kind of coats my lashes. Um... But I do really like this, and if I need to repurchase, I can. Um, so the last few products are, the majority of these are lip products, so I'm going to go through them really quick. Um, so the beginning of the month, it was the um, Bite Beauty Souffle color. It's just a really pretty pink, baby pink color. Love this color. Um, this is on my lips today. It's in NARS Barbera, and I love this color. Like I said, it's on my lips right now to go kind of with this eye look I was going for. Um, the Urban Decay um, Double Team, another beautiful pink color. Love these pinks. It's actually coming off a lot darker on camera. It's not that dark. It's a lot lighter. Um, then I did not grab one thing I needed but the um, lip balm I use is the Malin and Gotes lip balm love it it's a thick like pasty jelly type of lip balm I'm gonna tell you they are expensive because I was gonna repurchase I was gonna purchase another one they're like 22 24 dollars but I've had this thing for years I got it in an ipsy subscription I've not been an ipsy subscriber for like three years now that's how long I've had this, okay? But I like to put that on just a little bit because a little goes a long way. And then I like if I want to be extra, I love putting on the Lancome Juicy Tubes with it. These are the same consist consistency, but you get a little bit of glitter in it and I love it. I don't know. Like I said, when I'm feeling extra, I put this on. Um, and then I like to actually go in with the new Becca Lip Tuitive Glow Gloss. I love this as well. I just put it on over everything. It just put, puts some like purpley, bluish, sparkly things all over my lips. I love it. I love the glow of it. Um, other than that, it's not really nothing else in, like special to me, but I just love when it glows and glitters. Then last but not least is my lip glow in my uh, by Dior. I said Lancome. It is my Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. Love this. Love, love, love this. And it looks orange, but I promise you it goes on very, very clear. And it has so much sparkle in it. I love them. I might actually pick up another one of these. This is when I don't feel like putting any lip color on. I'll put this on. And then I go in with the Becca just to, like I said, just to give me that extra sparkle and a little bit more, um, what's the word? A little more glossy, I guess. And I love it like that. These are my two favorite perfumes. This was the beginning of the month. This is the end of the month. I love them. I'm actually wearing this right now and I it just puts me in a very happy mood. I'm in a happy place when I wear it. I love it. And then last but not least are two of the masks. Um, I've used all these but this one. It is the Tony Moly um, Megatox um, Brightening Mask. This one is. But the other ones are like a lift. And I don't know the other one, sorry. But I've really been loving these. Um, I wore one last night. And I'm saving my last one for a very special occasion. And then these. I love these. I just recently just recently made a huge purchase on, not a huge, I bought like six. But I got a few of these. And I've worn these a few of these already. And I absolutely love these. They are amazing. But anyway guys, that is it for this video. Um, I hope you all like this video and we'll stay tuned to my next video and this is my March favorites and I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you then. Bye!